Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, Day 6. Yeah, Day 6. Um, today's layout is a double pager, and I kind of kept it pretty true to uh, the sketch. I didn't um, do a lot different. Maybe my photo positions are a bit different. Um, kind of reversed there, as you can see. And I am starting out with these cut files from Creative Fabrica. And I'll put a link to those down below so that you can access those if you're interested in it. But they're super fine, and um, I really like the way that they look. Um, I like that they're not floral. They kind of have more of an industrial kind of look, um, which works well with my photos. So then I took a bunch of different papers. I believe this green one might be from SEI. Um, they're just a, a big variety of papers, basically that are in the orange and green tones. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm going to sneeze, so uh, bear with me. Um, they are from a whole bunch of different collections. I think the green one and the one right above it are both from SEI, but this pinky peach one is, uh, I, it's not from SEI. Uh, you see that the, that paper there is a lawn fawn. I don't even know if I'm going to use it at this point. I'm just trying out different colors, but I definitely like that there is the oranges because I do have a photo of the Golden Gate Bridge, and then th the other pictures have some kind of sunset look at them, at them, on them, <laughs> and so sunset coloring, um, so it lights things up in orange. I believe this particular paper I'm cutting right now is from uh, One Canoe Two, and then I decided to use this stencil for my background I originally was going to do those clouds but then I decided not to do the clouds I went with this stencil instead in flame and I was just showing you there I just used my blending brush to put it through the stencil very simple um, sorry I didn't get to see all of it on camera but um, that was basically what I ended up with so as you can see there that green paper at the bottom is actually the reverse side of that floral and I liked both sides so I thought it went well together um, and I wanted to just keep with a bunch of pattern papers there's all kinds of strips of papers at the bottom of this layout so that's what I'm working on I'm just gonna be building up all those strips I do want to pull in some blues because the sky is very blue in the photos and so I think that works well and um, I just want to make sure I keep all of those strips nice and straight using my t-square ruler but I also want to make sure that they are not all the same width uh, just to give some nice um, eye appeal, if you will. <laughs> it just looks better that they're not all in the same width. I just like to kind of mix it up. And I didn't really measure the widths on here. I just kind of eyeballed it, what I, what I thought would work. Um, you know, I didn't want the two blues right next to each other or the two or um, solid-looking oranges. They're not really solid, but they are kind of like that orangey, rust color but uh, one has kind of little hash marks on it and the other one has kind of a plaid on it but they're they read as a solid so I'm pretty happy with the way that that's looking I will trim off what is overhanging there in the middle and then I will match up the second page and for me that is the easiest way to keep them uh, nice and straight and how I want them um, now you can see here I'm cutting off the opposite end and I don't normally do that normally. I just bring it across the center. And I think that's what I start doing here. Yep, I'm going to just bring them across the center line instead of cutting off the end. And that makes it so that I can kind of make the length on the right-hand side match the length on the left-hand side so that they are the same distance from the outer edge of the layout. Hopefully that just made sense. While I do that, I will remind you, this is our day six in uh, 30 Days of Sketches. So go check out everyone else playing along down below. There is a list of links for you so that you can go and give them a little bit of love or go and get some more inspiration and see what other people have done with this particular layout. What I'm doing here is I put the adhesive on the wrong side. This paper is um, double-sided and it has a similar pattern on the reverse just in a different shade of blue and so I had it on the wrong side and when I went to put it down I realized that so I just erased the adhesive off of it and just 
um, flipped it over. Now I do want to uh, color up these cut file pieces and as you can see here I'm just laying them down on my Catherine Pooler ink pad in flame and I am using this little tool that I have. It, it is a quilting tool. I call it my pokey tool and <laughs> I use it to poke uh, die cuts out of um, the metal dies when they are stuck in there. It works really well because it kind of has a blunt end but it's very fine and uh, it is also a little bit flexible, so it works very well. So now I kind of get to play around with these little cut files to see where I want them. And like I said, they are very thin, so um, you can kind of tell that they're not, they're kind of curled up a little bit funny when I inked them up when they got wet just from that ink. But um, it all works out in the end because I can kind of maneuver them to where I want them. And um, I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. And then the little pieces at the end, I'm I'm sure there is, I'm sure that they are representative of something, but I don't know what they are. <laughs> so they do kind of look like wire to me. And um, given the Golden Gate has like all those um, cables and stuff, I just thought this worked really well rather than doing like stars or a floral or something like that. So I'm pretty happy with the way that that turned out. So these are going in the series of photos from our trip to Skywalker Ranch. We made a big loop and we came back by way of San Francisco. And so on the right hand side there you have um, the Golden Gate Bridge which we came across. And then there is also Coit Tower and the statue that is out in front of Coit Tower. And then um, my kids are in the battery spencer there uh, where they had like a, a little jail. I guess. Um, and so I wanted to capture that as well. And I really like the photos of them in there. So I decided uh, I would go ahead and use those as part of this double page layout. I probably had more scenery photos that I could have used. But at the end of the day, um, this is really more about my kids than uh, just San Francisco per se. So I wanted to make sure I got a picture of them in there too. And they are both wearing their Skywalker Ranch hats that they, they got at Skywalker Ranch. So I thought that was kind of fun too. So for my embellishments, I, I went to um, pull in a bunch of florals from the Jen Hadfield uh, Peaceful Heart Collection. And it has just all the right colors, so it worked well. Um, I wasn't really sure what I would be using. I am away from home when I'm doing this. I'm at a retreat. And so these are some of the things that I brought with me. And I was very pleasantly surprised that it has all these peachy orangey colors in it to go well with the layout. And then it has, um, you know, the yellows. And I, I'm adding in some purples and blues, which is fine because there's blues in the pictures. There's blue in the paper down below, even though a lot of it is covered up by the photographs. Um, and I like the way that the purple plays on all of that too. Now, one thing I'm not super thrilled about is all of the die cuts have such a huge white border around them and I've said this time and time again it drives me nuts I wish they were cut much closer to the actual uh, image but I do realize that in manufacturing they have a greater chance of being off in where the cuts are and then you can't use the die cut because it actually cut part of the image off so I do understand that but it does drive me nuts so I fussy cut them and um, I didn't make you sit through watching me cut fussy cut every single one of them because there's a lot and it took me quite a bit of time but in the end it's totally worth it in my opinion I don't really care for that big white look and also you know when they are cut that far away from the image um, the leaves all kind of become one piece of paper and I would like to cut down in between them and make them look like they are more leafy and um, individual leaves so um, that makes me a lot happier as well so I'm just going to go ahead and glue those down with my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive and then I will pop a bunch of the top or the pieces that are um, you know the, the top of the flowers are going to have some foam tape behind them to give some added dimension but the actual stem is actually glued down to the page so uh, it holds nicely and um, I'm pretty happy with the way that these came out it was a, a very pleasant surprise when I opened this package of die cuts 
I always feel like I need multiples of the packages that have the florals in them. I don't know if you guys are like that, but um, I feel like there's never enough florals. And I'm not someone who uses florals on every page, but um, I'm always happy when I can get my hands on more than one f one set of florals. And I didn't. I do have some of the paper that comes or that is from this collection, but I don't have a ton of it. But um, I feel like, you know, a lot of the florals can be used across collections. So uh, you see similar colors in a lot of the d collections um, time and time again. And so it's nice to just have extras on hand. So I am pretty happy because I actually got a couple of these packs. So that made me even happier. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep gluing all this stuff down. Um, I know it makes for a really interesting viewing. If you uh, notice, I do have a roll of 3M foam tape. And I do use that on occasion, but mostly when I'm away from home and I didn't bring as much um, of the regular foam tape that I use with me. So that's why you're seeing me use this 3M foam tape. Um, I think it's 3M. Maybe it's Scotch. Maybe it's Scotch 3M, the same company. I don't know. Um, and uh, you're going to see me use a, quite a bit more of it towards middle, the middle of the month. Uh, yep, it is 3M. I just pulled it out to check. Um, I got it off of Amazon. Anyway, you're going to see me use more of that because the next retreat that I went to, uh, I worked on more layouts for this series. Uh, I actually forgot all of my foam, um, all of my regular Walmart foam. So uh, I ended up borrowing foam from a couple of friends of mine that also use it to make my, uh, my letters. But um, for doing any of my dimensional work, I use a bunch of this 3M stuff and I'm almost out of it. So I'll probably order more and stick it in my bag that uh, my caddy that goes with me because it's just on a roll. And so it, it travels well and um, it's always just in the bag. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's a nice thing to have. I am going to go ahead and color up some of this paper with my ink pad. And again, that's the Catherine Pooler ink in flame. And I find that if I don't have the color that I want in um, a solid paper or even in a, in a patterned paper um, that reads as a solid, it is very nice to have a bunch of different options in ink pads because you can kind of make it the color that you want. And you're seeing that here. Um, you saw that with the die cuts also. If I by cutting them in white, I was able to just go ahead and make them whatever color I wanted when I got there. Um, it makes it really easy when I'm traveling to be able to do that. So I am using a small uh, alpha die set from scrapbook.com and um, I will put a link to the name of it down below, but uh, I'm just making the words San Francisco. That's my title. I'm not making it uh, anything additional with it. There's not a whole lot more to say about it. I will add a little bit of journaling about the day, but you're not going to see that on camera. And um, it'll probably just go in that green paper right below where it says San Francisco. And that will be pretty much it. And this is a case where I did make my own uh, alpha letters and I had foam tape for that. Um, not fo foam tape, but the sheets of foam that I get at Walmart. And so... Um, making my own faux thickers, if you will. And I am really enjoying collecting dyes or alphabet dyes in different fonts because it allows me to change up the look of my layout. So that's making me pretty happy as well. And I think it's a really good investment because those are going to last, you know, indefinitely, uh, except for, you know, if you drop one on the floor and then can't find it because that just happened to me recently. I did end up finding it a day and a half later, but oh, for a while there, I was a little bit concerned. Luckily, it was an M, which you could use a W in, in case or uh, in place of it. But um, I did find it. So, <laughs> um, but, you know, otherwise they last indefinitely. Whereas, you know, my, my thickers, which I still have a huge collection of thick thickers and I do use them, but that to take that with me on a retreat is much more, it takes up way more space than it does to just pack my binder of dyes and a few sheets of foam. So especially when I can just color up the um, paper to be whatever color I want, 
and go from there. Now I am adding some uh, sequins. These are probably Spiegel Mom scraps. Um, I'm pretty sure because that's pretty much where I ha most of mine are from um, and that looked like a newer bag although the other the other bag that you see by my elbow there that is from some other company um, I don't even know who it's from there's no label or name on it they probably came in a craft bag of some some other kind of craft and got stuck in with all my sequins so and I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle some sequins about in the that orangey coral color and that is going to be it. So here's my finished layout. I hope that you have enjoyed this video today. If you have questions, comments, or anything like that, just leave those down below. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. I thank you for spending time with me today, and um, don't forget to go and check out everyone else who is playing along and leave them a little bit of love. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up, and if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe too. And if you are subscribed, thank you for subscribing. Um, at any rate, thanks for watching my channel today. I, I do appreciate it. And I know there's a lot of options out there. And so I feel blessed that you chose mine. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.